Hey there everyone, this is Outcowbling VIP6. We're done with side stuff. We're going back into the main dream of things. Well, we're still not caught up with our world two shortcut. This is so strange. So they they cut off into three paths. Where you end up just playing different like parts of world. Anyway, the eighth floor ghost house. Uh, this is no secret exit, but Dagadon might be a thing. And, uh, eight floors. Literally eight floors? Is it a metaphorical eight floors? Is it just to go up a thing? I've done that before another VIP. In VIP 5, you spend all day doing that. There's no time limit, which is interesting. Uh, I got a mushroom when I got here. Like, is, like, I mean, you know, like, is this what the level is? Like, is this really what you're proposing? Maybe it's like eight floors of going up? I have no idea. Yeah, that's the tricky part about that thing is sometimes that might happen. Okay, so I can do that. Um, I think if I go here... Okay, so the reason why that happens is because I walked a bit, uh, I walked a bit, period. If I had not walked, if I had stayed put, I think you are absolutely safe. It's just so slow, though. Oh, and this time, we got a big guy that gets in the way. You know what? This is slightly more interesting than you might think. I don't know. I feel like there's something about this this way. Now, further future rooms might have, like, stunts where, you know, like, the VIP point can be in any corner, but, like, I'm still gonna give it an honest shot. Alright, so this time, with a big boo, how is this gonna work? Because, obviously, yeah, like, and then he's just right here like a jerk. Maybe now I can just use him up. It's gonna be faster. It was faster. It wasn't safe, though, is the thing. Not safe. But fast. Uh, alright. Is this, like, the one? Or... Or always here. Let's take this as a conclusion. Or rather, let's only ever jump when you know it's absolutely safe. How about that as a strategy? Yeah, how about that as a strategy that you're just gonna ignore? Well... This is... This is kind of broken. Like, I... Very exciting. Like, how do you do this otherwise? Now can I just make him go up? Like, naturally? Like, he's just not moving. A little bit. Alright. This is tricky, but it's better than trying to use the blocks at all. And all, it's also not really tricky. Uh, Alright. Invisible block shenanigans. We got Aries on the floor. Taking your calls right now. 1-800 Spooky Ghost. And get the spooky ghost to tell you something stupid about trees. It's very specific. <laughs> so, alright, so you gotta find out where the opening is at, it turns out. Alright, fair enough. Let's bop more blocks. Turns out it's more of a block bop day in the plumber bob. Got it. I just was weirdly lucky. It happens. Here we go. Uh, how about here? Hey, I did it! Solve the puzzle! Whoa! Tiny, tiny thumb thumb saw thumb, saw. Thumb. Got it. That's, that's language. So here you give me a fireball. Maybe he broke something. I don't know. Because I need something to kick this. And I got this blue block right here, just for that purpose. We did it. Solved that puzzle. Climbed that cat. 
Alright, might be something we want up there. So that's why you gave me that hit. So I can go here. Got it. And then you give me this P-switch. Um, okay. This is real uncomfortable. I can go here now. But, I need the... Did I do something wrong? I can't tell. Well, I can't go across there anymore. Might have done something wrong. I can kick up and get that key. I don't know if that's gonna be relevant. But yeah, I can do that. Uh... Alright, let's just press this piece switch and see what happens. Like, are there like blocks above here, something, anything? No. So, I probably messed it up. There's a little door here though, it's pretty cute. Okay, so we get a reset. That's really nice. So I need to be big before I do anything up there. Yeah. Because I need to run across those spikes. Like, there's just nothing else really to do there, it looks like. There we go. Like, I need to bring the trampoline. No, that's my way back here. Give me a P-switch. What does that mean? There you give me a key. My goal is to go up there. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, the key is mine now. That's solid. Slide. But I mean, that, that that doesn't mean anything if I just bomb that. Oh, hi. Okay, so that's what's in that blog then. Got it. <laughs> I should have known. I should have just tried more. Okay. All right. Here we go. Dippity number two. I'm gonna bring this key just for fun. So it's in, yeah, it's in that yellow block that you can see the skeleton of. Oh yeah, you need to bring the key here. So you can walk across there. Alright, there we go. Solving ghost houses is... I'm gonna get the midpoint. If I have to return, like if I die, it's fine. I'll die and get things, it's fine. Once you know how to solve things a lot easier. Although here, like, this is a, this is, this is a skill component. Okay, here I'm safe. It's just navigate between the stairs, you know? Sometimes a puzzle is figuring out what is the skill component and it becomes a lot easier regardless. So there we go. House number something. Oh, it's this old friend, huh? Oh, that counted, huh? Alright. I mean, this is this is kind of different, a little bit. Alright, well, that happened. I'm glad to have met you. Back down number four. This looks like just kind of a place. Oh, that looks serious. And I need to get that to get... yeah. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm going to assume that they'll never pop out. It looks like on top of that brick, like the first one is relatively safe. So by doing this, well, I, I, am I safe here? Is it safe? Seems like it, but I don't feel like it. 
Because to get anything, I need to like go up here. <sighs> Alright, I was hoping I would have to redo the extremely slow start, but looks like that's not in the cards. That's fine. Yeah, my main beef is just how slow a lot of this feels like. Not all of these rooms are created equal. Look, man. He really had to have eight rooms, but he didn't have eight ideas, alright? <laughs> That's just the reality. <laughs> Alright, this is some um, nonsense. I can go here, I can go here, then I can do that, and yeah, just not like- See, it's super easy. Remove the stress, and look at that. Just do that. Just do that! Uh, okay, here we get a puzzle. It says VIP up there, in blue coins. That's how you know it's serious. So, obvious intent number one. Get ourselves a disco man. Pop you here. Oh, okay, and get hit in the rebound. Fair enough. Man, yeah, okay, this goes real fast if you just do it. Show no fear and you'll be rewarded. I don't know how that weird diagonal happened, but hey. So... Bop, but then you need to be free, then you're down here, then you go here, you get, gets me a P. Alright, I don't know how I get that other P. I don't know how I get anything done. Alright, let's press this, see what happens. So you get blocks when that happens. Which is good, because I got it cleared away. There it says VIP in big fancy letters. Oh, you need to bounce off of the shell to get that. Um, and the shell is not respawning. All right, well, I got a reset door here. Wow, <sighs> thanks. Okay, I get it. It's a bit scary, though. Like, this is not free. This is gonna be bouncing, okay. So I guess I'll just get this out of the way first. And... Eesh. I understand why you put the hardest one as the last one. But... Like, I understand in terms of build-up. But... In terms of playability, it's like the opposite. What you want. It's weird. Like, there's... You kind of have to find a perfect mount. Oh, whoops, sorry. I was... This, this room is just filed in my brain as does not exist. Really? Alright. Alright, okay, so. I got this. Now I gotta get the other one. Like, disco hopping never feels good. As far as I'm concerned. That's just a truth about reality. Uh, wait a second. There's a yellow thing here. So don't press the P-switch here. Yeah, um, you need to do that here, then leave it here, because I think I need to bring the shell with me. It should have respawned. It didn't. Why? I don't know. Alright, well, let's see what happens then. Because, yeah, like, I need to go through that. Oh, there's stuff there. Yeah, so I need to bob this. Where, where's the yellow shell at? How do I keep the yellow shell? Now it's here. <laughs> what? What? P-switch. That's how you know it's a good time. Alright, so you stay here. Because I made sure to dunk it in the pit, it's not here. 
Like, how do I ensure that my shell returns? Ah. Okay, maybe you go here, you go up here, you jump here, and then you come back fast enough? Like, that's not gonna work. I cannot make that happen fast enough. Ah, whatever. Let's try plan, make sure that it doesn't fall off. Let's see if that means anything. Sitting under the vamp. So I try to make sure it didn't fall off, and this time the shell stuck around. Well, at this point it doesn't matter, because then I can just grab this and do this, though. Uh, I could have grabbed it and made it easier on myself, but... I'm not about that kind of choices. <laughs> Alright. Uh, am I going to need the shell again? Maybe to get out? Let's not take any chances. No, because I can use my P-switch to kick those around. Alright. Just kick this out. Bop, bop. Press this to remove those blocks, covering this pipe, and venture far into the north on top of the building. You just beat the game, however you have to return to beat it once again. Hey, right, you know what? It's fine. The loop is complete. There's a weird echo. Everything is something. I want to try something real quick. Does Tannison Peak? Uh, if you've... Oh, sorry. If you've uh, watched VLDCX, I've demonstrated that if you keep on Big Boo this way for long enough, he, like, peeks out of his flippers, and I just want to see if uh, Tennyson does it too here. Yeah! Just kind of lowers his weird claw hands. What a champ. Yeah, see, that was the room with, uh... It was very clear. This one's just a gimme, right? Yeah, it's just right there. I don't know if that matters. Did I kill the Koopa? It shouldn't. So the way I did it... Oh, boy, this is still scary. This is where it could all have fallen apart. Alright, so I'm just gonna do what I did last time and try to make sure that Shell doesn't die. But see, there I heard a little thump, so I don't know, I jump up, maybe that's all you need. Okay. Whatever it is that I had to do, I did it. That's what matters. So yeah, it's like I, it's like I thought. Like do it once when you know how to do all the individual little obstacles. It's fine. You just gotta learn it, man. You just gotta do it. You just gotta do it once. Just do it once, and you'll be totally super okay. It's still scary though. Why that whole? Shell Rodeo could have gone real bad. Could have gone real sour. It didn't. But could have. I do not feel fully in control. But hey, look at that. See, I filled up that little black spot. That's why I gotta do it. That's why I forced myself to do things. It is sheer logic.